YouTube class. Welcome to My English Voice. Okay, if you haven't downloaded the worksheet already, go and do that. You'll find it at myenglishvoice.com and then come back here to start the listening lesson. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. I'm here in an area of southeast London called Woolwich. It's a place teeming with a large African migrant population. Now, Woolwich used to have a reputation of being a rough neighborhood, but in the last couple of years, it's enjoyed somewhat of a regeneration. And tucked away here is an Eritrean restaurant called Blue Nile, named by a top website as being the best restaurant in London. Let's find out why. I've been told the secret of this restaurant's success is in the kitchen, and that's where I'm headed. Hello, Shua. Hi, How are you? Um, nice. Thanks for having us in your restaurant. Thank you very much for coming. What are you making? I'm just making injera. In it's um, the injera which we use with the stew. Mm -hmm. It's made with uh, rice flour, ragi flour, uh, millet, and maize flour. So talk me through it. So this is uh, the, the dough which mm -hmm. I made uh, last night. And because it's fermented one night, it's got a little bit sour taste, but not too sour. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once it's done, we put the stew in the middle and we eat it from here. So you don't use a knife and fork here? We use our hands. You don't need to have a knife and fork mm -hmm. because this is, um, as soon as you cut it, this is your knife and this is your <laughs> fork. <laughs> As Shua talks me through how to make injera, up the stairs, the little cafe is fast filling up. But what does Shua make about her restaurant being named number one in London by this travel website? I couldn't believe it to be number one within <laughs> 11 months. And I thought that um, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect that day. But it was a uh, it was very very nice feeling. Well, you know me, I don't pass up on a good meal. Well, it's time for me to savor the delights of the Blue Nile. Bon appétit. <laughs> Fantastic. And going by the look on the faces of the other customers, they seem to like the food too. Well, it seems with injera, alicha, stew, and coffee. Shua and her boys have succeeded in bringing a little bit of flavor to Southeast London. Peter Okwache, BBC World News. Okay, so now it's time for the International English Pronunciation Focus. I'm going to play just a short extract from the video. You need to listen really carefully and just focus on the sounds. Then try repeating exactly the same thing and then compare your pronunciation with the speaker's pronunciation. Remember that we all have different accents and different does not necessarily mean better or worse. But if you can notice differences, this would help you next time you speak to somebody with that same accent. This is especially important if, you're no, if you know that you're going to speak to people with this accent and you know that this is not a familiar accent to you. The more you listen to different accents, the easier they will be to understand. If you want more help understanding what to focus on, you can download the pronunciation guide at myenglishvoice.com. Okay, are you ready to listen? Don't forget, listen, repeat, notice and reflect. Let's go. I couldn't believe it to be number one within <laughs> 11 months. And I thought that um, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect that day. But it was a uh, it was very, very nice feeling. Okay, so that's it for this week's lesson. Thanks for watching. Remember, we have lots of other categories on the website, myenglishvoice.com. 
you can leave your answer to the discussion question in the comments box below. Um, or you can join our weekly listening lesson feedback. That's free. It's a YouTube live broadcast. You can type your answers into the chat box to connect with people from all over the world. Um, I also have the speaking weekly lessons as well on YouTube. Um, these you do have to pay for, but it's just the price of a cup of coffee. So hopefully everybody can afford to join us for that. For more information, check out the details at myenglishvoice.com. Most importantly, don't forget to share your English voice with my English voice.